Borderlands 3. After years of controversy and eager waiting, Borderlands 3 has finally arrived. With ridiculous exclusivity with Epic Store, I feel glad and proud once again that I'm a console boy. I feel really bad for people who lost their save files and who have troubles playing this title. Now being a console player, even I wasn't excluded from torturing troubles of letting me enjoy the game fully and nothing has been done or fixed yet. Now let me tell you a story about my first day experience in Borderlands. In one cozy evening I was sitting my ass down uh, to have a long wait at split screen Borderlands action with my girlfriend. We got comfortable and enjoyed the first introduction video until this happened. Yeah, 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 literally the first thing that happened. Ominous, don't you think? As I restarted the game, the video never appeared again, so I missed the whole introduction. As you can hear, I started off with negatives this time, but rightfully so, as my game started the same way. Second thing I noticed was that the split screen is totally f***ed. Pardon my French. Every time one of us enters the menu, we both get 3 frames per second, as long as the other player is in there. The game should be named Borderlands 3 frames per second. Sadly, this happens every time, no exceptions. And one other thing that split-screen players will learn is that descriptions of items, loot and skills are not visible on your screen. Yes, <laughs> you need to either adjust your camera or scroll down with your analog Analog stick to see the whole text. So yeah, there, sh there should be a way that this information box kind of resizes itself accordingly, what, sh what you're looking at, so it's, it's annoying. And it happens every time, once you want to pick up the weapon you just found and you want to check the damage, but, but you can't. Good luck with that. Let's check the graphics. Graphically, this game looks exactly the same as remastered editions of previous games. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I remember that my first experience with Borderlands was a bit uh, disturbing for my eyes. <laughs> Bright, pastelic colors with so-so graphics and everything now is really good compared to the older uh, versions of the game. But what makes the game is the gameplay. Gameplay and shooting overall feels solid, and most of all, it's fun. Looting mechanics in this game is just fantastic. I might even say pristine. You want to check every box, every nook and cranny, not, not cranny, just to see what new weapons you might find or gather, so you can either use them or sell them. Selling shit is essential in this game, since upgrades uh, of your, you know, bullet uh, backpack and inventory space and bank space cost more than you can make in a lifetime. The problem with looting unfortunately becomes apparent as soon as you start practicing it. Every mission, every map, every planet, I will come to that in a moment, lets you run like an idiot for at least 25 minutes, maybe more. But the whole map only has one or two places where you can sell the stack you just gathered, meaning that your inventory space will be full in about 7 to 10 minutes. Thus, you need to return to the sanctuary or find an outpost for selling in the beginning of the map. All the enemies will be respawned and most of your mission needs redoing. And this happens at least twice in an hour. You need to choose between completing the mission or selling your stuff or backtracking after the mission to get everything that you left behind. It's a pickle, I can tell you that. I usually choose loot and teleport to sell them. Uh, then I will just run past all the respawned enemies and say the hell with them. I rarely leave something behind. And you shouldn't either, if you ever want to get full upgrades. So what about the game area? You can now travel between different planets. Every planet has a large multi-layered map that is divided into usually three regions. Those maps are large and a vehicle is required in order to cover, well, most of the distance. Enemies are fun, and killing them is even funner, but the plot, characters and missions overall are a bit cliché and somewhat not interesting, if not even boring. But I try not to concentrate on the main story here, since the gameplay makes up for it tenfold. Yes, you get your occasional jokes that hit you like a frying pan as soon as you walk in my grandmother's kitchen. You will get many cultural references from movies and songs. And you get to upgrade your special ability once you have completed the game. Oh, and plus the golden key thing that I don't recall the name. Uh, yeah, 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 it does. 
doesn't come to me now. The replay value here is massive. You can choose between four characters this time. Was it three in the last? Yeah, four characters. Each one of them have their own special abilities and it's, it's awesome. And if they would fix the split screen three frames error, which I'm not using as a reference to give my rating, then the experience will be much smoother as well. Anyways, this game is well worth your money and time, since the game is as looter shooter should be. Looter shooter with shooting and looting. Buy it, get it, enjoy it. I will give this game 8 out of 10. And I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell, and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time.